everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So we have a palette bingo. I went on community tab on my channel and I asked you guys which one of the three palettes that I put out there did you guys want to see a palette bingo of? So the majority of you, I believe it was like 44% of you, chose the Douce palette, which is absolutely perfect since this is the first week of spring and this palette to me screams spring all the way. So this has nine shadows. So we're gonna pick five out of these and do a look with it. So I'm gonna pull up my trusty <clears throat> wheel and we're just gonna go ahead and choose what we're gonna do. All right, so the first shade, oh, I should say this. I am going to go across, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just so you guys know how I'm going to do it. So we're going to go with the first number. Which is number five, which is this bright, beautiful purple right in the center. So that is the first shade we're going with. Next up. is number four, the one right before it, which is this beautiful green right here. Okay, I am not mad at this. <laughs> Next shade. We have number nine, which is this matte shade right here. So we, so far we got two mattes and a shimmer shade. So here is the third shade. Moving on. Number two. Ooh, this is a duo chrome shade in here. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty. There it is right there. Of course, I had to swatch that super low. And the last number, right? Yes, last one. Oh, we already got number nine. Number eight, my favorite number, which is this shade right here. It's like a silver shade. Oh, wow. Look at this color scheme here. Okay, you guys. Well, that'll be interesting to do. All right. All right. So <clears throat> let's start out. First shade I'm going to use is this one down here. I am going to put this all over the crease as our transition shade since it is the most common sense one, obviously. So we're just going to blow this out and I'm not going to make this way too pigmented because I want it to be like a, a light wash of it. Because this can be very, very pigmented, but I'm not going to do that. Alrighty. So just an update, you guys. We're all back to normal. If you guys saw my Sunday video, thank you, Jesus. We're all back to normal, at least for the most part, health-wise. How about mentally? <laughs> if we're all back yet or not, but we're all back into our routine. And it feels good, you guys. It really does feel good. So I'm gonna start this out a little bit different. Now we're gonna go into this shade right here. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner here and bring it up like a quarter of the way. So it'll come up to like right here on my lid. I'm not gonna wet this. And since it's such a precise area, I wanna use a brush. This color looks white in the pan, but it's more of a pink purple. Just like that, you can wet this, obviously, and make it more intense. But I don't want to do that. So anyways, I was saying I'm super happy the warm weather is coming. It's already starting to be nice and warm. Monday was the last cool, cool day that we're going to have, hopefully, in a while. According to the meteorologist, because you know, it's the only job you can have. And lie, it still kept up. All 
All right, so now the next shade I am going to use is of course this green one, which you guys know is probably my favorite color out of this whole bunch. And I'm going to use my finger and I'm gonna put this more in the center of the lid. And then we're gonna blend it in to that duochrome shade. that. I'm just going to grab the same brush. I'm going to blend this like a nothing else in this brush. Look at that. Oh, and also we have not gotten that raccoon back, which is awesome. Thank God, man, these damn raccoons. All right, so now we're going to grab this matte purple pink and we're going to put this in the outer V of the actual look. Pack this on first and then blend it in. Oh, so pretty. I'm very, very happy that the time changed because now I could still film in the evening and have light behind me, which is not. Nice. Oh, that's so pretty. So now we're going to grab the last shade, which is this one right down here. And this is more like a gray bluish type of shade. And I'm going to put this on the lower lash line and then blend it out with that purple shade. I'm going to grab that purple shade just a little bit on the outer edge right here. Hmm. All right, you guys. So I think I'm going to just double check my work because you know how I am. I'm just going to try to. Just blend the edges out a little bit here. All right, that's it guys. So now I'm gonna just do uh, liner, lashes, mascara, and then we'll come back and you guys can see the final look of this beautiful palette bingo. So here's the final look using all the five shades from this palette right here. I actually had a lot of fun. Since I haven't used this on camera, I have used it on my own personal time, but I never really used it on camera, so I'm super excited you guys picked it, and it is perfect for springtime now that springtime is here, even though it might not feel like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, keep an eye out for my community tab. I will probably do another one of these so you guys can choose what palette to do another palette bingo with. This is a lot of fun. It's very creative and it just makes you think of how to put things together in a way you probably wouldn't have done so on your own. So I really like this. It turned out really nice. So anyway, I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys.